Women's sports has not always been really accessible. For me, my idols when I was looking up were all men's players because those are the ones that I saw. I want to be the example for another like little little kid, little black girl where she can see like, oh, she looks like me and she's playing. I want to be like her when I grow up. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it's a big responsibility and it's one that, um, like you, I don't take lightly. You know, one of the things I really work on is um, how to be very intentional in the way that I interact. And then I'm being honest and authentic with them. You know, I think a lot of people look at successful people, successful women, and they think that it was easy, that the path that they took was easy. And I think it's important for us to talk about both, you know, the, the amazing things about our lives, but also the challenging parts so that those women and people know that, you know, we all face challenges and how you respond to those challenges is really what matters. What is it like being a woman in this sport? We're really proud in the way that if we see any injustice, you know, pay equity, social, whatever it is, we really try to make a change in that. We understand the power that we have and we try to use it, we try to use our forces for good. <laughs> you know, we're doing the same work for less pay and that's the story for a lot of people and so we're doing everything that we can to try to change that. I love that. Think about the example you're setting for your daughter, mm -hmm. right? You know, speak up and, and um, work hard on the things that you want to change in this world. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. You talked a little bit about how one of your passions in life is leaving the world a better place than you found it. Um, what drives that in you? Well, I think you'll appreciate this, hearing you talk about your mother. Um, you know, for me, it all started with my mom. So I was raised by a single mother um, in Detroit, and I would stare at a poster that still hangs on my mother's kitchen wall. And the poster has a quote from Rabindranath Tagore. And the quote goes like this, I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awoke and found that life was service. I acted and behold, service was joy. And I firmly believe that my mother's legacy and that quote brought me to the work that I do today. And that work is really about leveraging the resources of US Bank, human and financial resources, to help communities solve some of its most intractable problems. That's awesome. I'm playing basketball. You're making real change in the community and in people's lives. So really great to meet you too. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thanks.